Here at Capital One Field in the Big Ten opener as Penn State takes on Maryland. Sold out. Blackout scene in College Park tonight. As you can see, you travel well. Over the middle, it's Penn State. Jackson, the linebacker. He'll keep it. Touchdown, John Clifford. Looking for him where he's got it. He jitterbugs free. There goes KJ for a payday. Jackson for the corner. Far side, Jacetta makes the catch at the 25-yard line despite pass interference. Slate up the middle, touchdown, Penn State. Head down he goes. Here goes Quincy, and another first down and then some. He is nimble, and he's done right there. That's Trudy Brown down the sidelines, touchdown. This was a totally dominating game for Penn State. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. So today we are taking two buses full of students and sponsored by the Student Indy Lion Club down to College Park, Maryland for the Penn State Maryland game. The goal of all of this is to give students an awesome experience um, supporting Penn State football on the road and to just kind of promote that Penn State pride. PSECU loves to jump in and help out wherever we can. I believe about 150 of us are making the trip, but I'm sure there'll be a ton of other students, alumni, and just a crazy environment. We may be the away team, but I'm sure we'll be loud, be proud, and make it real tough for them to play when they're on offense. Penn State! Penn State! This kind of reminds me of some of the Thursday night games that we had. That'll be a great environment. We had the Maryland fight song playing all week long with crowd noise. So I think we're prepared for it, but you know, obviously going on the road for the first time as a starting quarterback is different. We are the show! We are the show! They're sold out for us! Let's go! Win on three, one, two, three! One of the closest games to home I've had in a while, you know, being from Virginia. We got a great plan, great week of preparation trying to out here visualize what I'm going to do, visualize the game plan, and execute. That's the biggest thing. Just go out there, execute, play our game. We don't got to be nothing that we're not. We packed up, we came to Maryland, we bought a bunch of dogs. We ready to eat, we hungry. All these fans are here for us. We got to show what Penn State football is about, baby. Friday night lights, too. Another thing that'll take you back, having played under the lights and Friday in them. And forever, it seems like. That's gonna be a special moment. I know it's gonna be a nice atmosphere tonight. I know our fans gonna come out, show out, show love. It's really gonna be a good one. On the road, first Big Ten game against Maryland. We bring it all out today. This is their Super Bowl right now. They have no idea what's getting ready to happen. One play at a time, hard nose, discipline, Penn State football, let's go do this thing. <laughs> because they decided to have their own whiteout. Over the middle, it's picked up. Jackson, the linebacker. And the first big blow is delivered by Penn State. Let's go! Let's go! Penn State will get the ball at the Maryland eight-yard line. He'll keep it. Touchdown. Great decision by the quarterback, Sean Clifford, in his first road game in conference. Spottos and take it out for a loss. But look at that speed, sideline to sideline, Cam Brown. Penn State with outstanding field position to open their second drive. Clifford looking for Hamler, he's got him. There goes KJ. He jitterbugs free. There goes KJ for a payday. Four offensive snaps for Penn State. Two of those four for touchdowns. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's work a little extra video on the side, huh? Good job. 
First and 10 at the Penn State 11. Jackson for the corner. Intercepted again. It's Tariq Castro Fields who comes home to Maryland and picks it up. First and 10, they're on 33. Long and deep far side, Jacinta makes the catch at the 25-yard line, despite pass interference. His first corner catch is a big one. Slade is to the left of Clifford. Slade up the middle, touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions march 95 yards. Here comes the blitz. Jackson in two. Down he goes. Nitor Gross Matos and Ellis Brooks. Here goes quick feet. And another first down and then some. He has nimble. That's 25 yards. He's done right there. That's Timmy Brown. Down the sidelines. Touchdown. Continue to be unselfish, guy. We don't have moments where you got two, three drives in a row because you're hot. I, I know that as a coach right now, you're all playing well. I want to keep this thing going and keep us fresh. Penn State with seven drives, six scores, and a 41 to love lead. Halftime in College Park. Our business ain't done yet. It's our mindset and it's our approach this half. The standard is the standard, regardless of who's in the game. All right? Hey, there's too many people like a days ago I had to you look like it before the game. If you think it's impossible for a team to come back, you're crazy. It's 0-0, zero, zero, we're not letting off. Lamont is exactly right. I expect the entire team to not give it 0-0 zero, zero lip service. It is 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time, blue collar, hard nose, Discipline, Penn State football, let's go. Grand time, grand time! There's Bowers, there's Bowers. The longest reception of his career. Stood up there, but... Moves forward, gets the ball across the inline for the touchdown. Hit again, and he won't get away this time. Ellis Brooks leads the charge again. Strip, and it's Keaton Ellis that comes out of there with it. Number two, Penn State's football. And the onslaught continues. Butcher, they're playing like they don't know the score. That's right. You know, they're just playing every play all out. Now Field coming back to the ball it is Isaac Lutz. This was a totally on the road, conference opening, dominating game for Penn State. complete performance we've had in six years. That team's been scoring 70 something points on people. Our defense held them to nothing. Oh, Where did we get last week? It's not good enough again. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. Very few undefeated teams in the country. We're one of them. We're one and oh this week. We gotta keep building the machine. Right. Every single person in this room, I have so much faith in and so much belief in. 
and I can't thank you enough for how you guys work. It's fun coming to work every single day and working with everybody in this program. I can't thank you guys enough. Hey, like always, it always starts with I love you. Hey, let's do this. Let's break it down on the kid from Catani. Ah. This week on campus in Penn State Athletics, it is home. Coming the weekend here at Penn State, and the Nittany Lion football team will take on Purdue at Beaver Stadium Saturday, kicking off at noon. Saturday night, the women's volleyball team is back in Rec Hall to take on Iowa. That matchup will start at 7 o'clock. And Sunday, the men's soccer team returns to Jeffrey Field to take on Indiana. That soccer matchup at Jeffrey Field begins at noon. That's this week on campus in Penn State Athletics. No child wants to feel different. Wearing hearing aids as a child falls into that category. Penn State Volleyball's Johnny Parker needed them, and it brought with them the occasional cruelty. It was pretty tough, especially in the younger years, just knowing that you're different from everybody else. But then, as I grew older, I think I realized that being different is okay, and it's what made me special in my own way, and made me the person who I am today. Sports opened the door for her to excel. Of course, I think sports is an outlet for a lot of people, and it's just one of those things that you're comfortable with, like you can go, it's like you're released from the rest of the world. She actually loved basketball and softball growing up, but then volleyball took over watching your sister Paige play all the time. My older sister Paige, she played volleyball in high school, and I was ball girl always in the gym with her and stuff like that. I always said volleyball was never going to be my sport. And one year, my mom and sister convinced me to try out for club, and I did, and I made a team. And they're like, just try it for a year, see how you feel. I played it, never stopped, ended up giving up everything else for where I am today. Weiskircher sets it up for Parker. Parker's going to tap it over. Head coach Russ Rose likes her feel and awareness for the game. You know, she has a good feel for uh, just things going on around her. I mean, I think she's perceptive. I think she moves around uh, things well, I think. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's uh, part of her, uh, because of her hearing, that she has such good uh, kinesthetic sense or spatial orientation, but it, it just seems that, uh, you know, she seems to move around in space well. Johnny Parker was the Big Ten Freshman of the Year last season. I feel like I can be definitely better on the defensive side of things. I'm not 6'4", like some of our other players, um, but I gotta be cautious of uh, how I block and smart, be a smart blocker rather than like a big block. In the back row, I just gotta make sure I stay low, be able to move, extend my range a little bit. I gotta be confident back there in what I'm doing. I can definitely improve my serve, uh, be a little bit more consistent on the side of things. Players can always improve their, uh, their, you know, their physical skills and but, uh, you know, she'll have a major responsibility with how we do as it is right now. Johnny's sister Paige was so inspired by her, she studied audiology in college and got her doctorate at Northwestern. She's a role model for me, but then there's days that she says, like, I'm a role model for her. And I think that just shows that, like, no matter what, like, we'll always have each other through any situation. Johnny Parker, an inspiration to her teammates, volleyball fans, and young people everywhere by proving you can overcome a disability to be considered among the best. Right, right, left, left, good. Active hands, Rob, active hands, active hands, good. Coach Franklin has created the most competitive environment in college football. And that's what we strive for every day. And we don't just say it and have lip service to do it. We put kids in situations where they have to compete. We put them in the lines there. We put them in lines That becomes innate to your personality and who you become later on in life. Hey, what that smoke? Hey. 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 Good hand. Hey. 
like, like my why or, or things that I, I reach for is always for the kids. You know, I feel like when I'm done coaching football, I will have affected over three to 4,000 football players, and that will be special to me. I'm just going to work myself back to the quarterback, okay? So when we talk about set lines, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Hit, boom, up and that's good. There it is, good. Hit, hit, go, go. Keep that elbow tight. Ready, so go. Good job. Nice set line. Ready, so go. Speed, speed, power. Good move. Good job. When my journey's over, I will feel like I've affected more people uh, than just myself. That's it. You get that till you take it, bro. All right, good job. This is Unrivaled, the Penn State football story presented by Pepsi. I felt pretty honored. You know, I got the text. We were doing a photo shoot for these uniforms, but you know, I had to keep it secret. I couldn't tell anyone. I think it was a pretty special opportunity for us to, you know, be able to go out there, you know, honor past teams, past players just come in here and, you know, set the foundation for what we're doing. We take a lot of pride in, you know, continuing the tradition, you know, Guys put a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat into, you know, building Penn State into what it is right now. But, you know, when you get to come out here in white cleats and, you know, switch it up some, it's, it's a lot of fun. We all wore white cleats in high school and stuff, so be able to break them back out, it's, it's, been, it's been real cool. The dudes are pumped, you know, guys have been joking around, saying we feel a lot faster in the white cleats. Nike's done a great job and for them to, you know, go out of their way and give us these uniforms is pretty awesome. Now I know there's different you know, uh, parts of the uniform, like the trim, uh, the numbers on our helmet, you know, obviously the white cleats, the stripe on the pants. So, you know, all those different parts are from different teams in the past, and, you know, putting it all together into one uniform is going to be special. You know, went over to the stadium and did the photo shoot. So, you know, being able to be the face of that, even, you know, it was, it was pretty special. So I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, it was pretty cool to kind of get behind the scenes and you know see what the photo shoot, the video shoot was all about. We were there for about an hour for you know like a 30 second video, so uh, it was cool to see all the hard work, and I felt pretty natural in front of the cameras. Good afternoon and welcome to the Penn State Football Press Conference. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach. How are we doing, guys? Appreciate everybody coming out uh, to cover Penn State football. Got a beautiful day out there. You know, getting into Purdue, obviously got a lot of respect for Coach Brom and what he's been able to do kind of throughout his career. They got co-offensive coordinators and co-defensive coordinators, but Brian Brom and Jamarcus Shepard have done a really nice job. You know, Coach Brom, I think, calls the plays on offense and it's his system, and they've always done a great job throwing the ball. You know, from a quarterback position, receivers, tight ends, they do a great job getting the running backs involved as well. They're ranked number one in the Big Ten in passing and, and six in all of college football. As you know, their, their QB is out, their best wide receiver. We don't know he's questionable, but that's not going to change our approach at all. We're just going to play how we play defense, hard, hard nosed defense. I just want everybody to have the mindset every single week that we are trying to get better and we're fighting for every little scrap there is out there. We're finding any way we possibly can to get better. Nobody should be content, nobody should be happy. Every single week, there are things that we can get better at and we're gonna work on them. But my point to us is we got a damn good thing going right now. You guys have been phenomenal, really, since the beginning of camp. You've been phenomenal. So let's make sure that all of us are doing everything we possibly can in our power, investing in yourself and investing in the program all week long, one day at a time, so we have the best chance to be successful on Saturday. And let's do that day after day, let's do that week after week, start with Purdue. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, team. I'm growing it. Everybody got their sheets? All right, a couple things. <clears throat> Obviously, as we can see at the top of that, that laser sharp focus has got to be in full effect. Okay, the, to me, it's all about our physicality and getting hands on guys. These guys are a throwing team, and most throwing teams are a timing team. Does that make sense? They're a timing team. So the more we can challenge guys with our hands and our feet, 
the better it is for us. It starts with us, the way we practice it, right? We got to practice our culture. That means we got to do a great job of encouraging guys and juicing guys up. And then the third one, which is just as important, we got to do a great job of policing our culture. So if guys aren't running to the ball, if guys aren't thudding, if guys not living the lifestyle, you got to call them out and get this stuff corrected in a hurry. And I'm starts with our room first, and it's got to bleed down to the rest of the defense. All right, let's go get a break. Hey, I feel great. We got generations of greatness this week. Hey, we tuned in. We're going to have some fun. It's a work day. You got to love what you're doing. Do what you love. And it's real simple. Coming to you live. I got just be with me, 1-3. We're about to have fun. It's time to go to work. Hard Hat Tuesday. And that 4013 connection. How everybody doing? What's up, Nation? You know what I'm saying? We got a Hard Hat Tuesday today. Come out here and get ready. Yeah, like how we always do. It's simple. How you say it? It's simple. Yeah, it's real simple. It's real simple. Come on out, yeah. Real, real, real. Woo! We need to go in. We need to go in. We need to go in. Let's go. Show them. Sit down. Sit down. Good. Who got bigger stripes? Who got bigger stripes? Go! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Good puck right there. Hey, we showing off. Easy word. I thought the meetings today were excellent. Special teams, offense, defense, excellent. Practice was great. We got to come out here each day with the right mentality. We got to get better. I thought you guys were excellent. Let's continue to do that. Three, one, two, three.